Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're finally here. Roll intro! What's going on fellow rejects? It's me, Jay. And here we are with the deck review. Now uh, a little bit of history before we get rolling. I love cardistry. I'm not like this cardistry guru, but I wanted to get more serious uh, after learning a few uh, nice flourishes. And I uh, saw that there was a cardistry deck out and I got the 2016 Virtuoso playing card deck. Absolutely amazing deck. Uh, the style of the deck is absolutely amazing. It's borderless, it's really cool. The endurance of the deck, I mean, I put these things through the ringer and they last. So when they went out, they were completely sold out. I was like, holy crap, when are they gonna put a new line out? And then they announced the 2017, 2018 winter fall edition. And I was like, holy crap, yes, yes. And they said they're gonna be giving away one free deck, just pay for the shipping. Amazing, I bought this and a bunch of others. Now the thing is, a lot of people wanted their free deck. So uh, the fulfillment service that they were using was overwhelmed and therefore it was gonna take four to six weeks to receive the deck. I did my waiting. 12 years of it in Azkaban. And it finally arrived on my doorstep, the Virtuoso 2016. That's just not being like that. Like the 2017. The WWE Network. I know, right? It's available for $9.99. They've brainwashed me. It finally arrived on my doorstep. I am excited to take a look at these bad boys. Let's do it. Now here is the 2017-2018 Virtuoso deck. And here's uh, the previous one. So here's a little side by side. Now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, let's take a look on the inside. This is my favorite part, just doing this. Oh yeah, and no fidgeting with this one. Get rid of that. Designed for cardistry. The Virtuoso Fall Winter. So last year's deck came exactly like this. Uh, it came uh, with these cards and their, their last deck's colors. Uh, this will probably go into a little frame. I'm just a nerd when it comes to collecting these things. All right, so at first glance, you would see that they look pretty similar. Uh, the color scheme is different, and I actually kind of dig the shading they did. I think that's pretty cool. Let's see how they feel. They fan beautifully. And with that new shading, it gives you even uh, different formations that you could probably do. I like that. Yeah, these uh, spring a little easier. The uh, 2016 deck seemed to be a little thicker. So I hope that allows these to hold up a little better. I love that ace so much. Maybe I get it tattooed. Maybe I won't. The uh, colors, the blacks are good. Okay, so now we got a black and red uh, pipped deck. So I like the faces. I like the cards. Very nice. Uh, I wish they were as thick as they were last year. I don't think I'm on board with them being this thin. Let's see if they're still traditionally cut. Oh yeah, they're not traditionally cut this year, which isn't a bad thing, that's fine. But hey, there you have it. It's time to take these bad boys out for a spin. Alright guys, that's my review for the 2017-2018 deck. I hope you found it educational. Pick up a deck if you like them and support them. If not, hell, I love them. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. After you do that, 
hit that little bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. I will see you guys in the next video.